Hi, I'm Mariga from Skin Essentials and thank you for tuning into the latest in my series of skincare videos um, where I answer your questions. So today I want to talk to you, it's not one particular question today because lots of people do ask about it and um, I want to address the topic of melasma with you today. So this comes under the general heading of hyperpigmentation um, but within that, which is brown patches on the skin, but within that there are um, different types and some are more easily treated than others. So today I wanted to talk about one particular type which is melasma. Now melasma is a generalized pigmentation. It is not an individual patch here or here or here, which is something else that we can fix quite easily for you. Melasma is uh, something that runs a little bit deeper and um, in, involves more systems. So generally, and it's not always the same, but generally melasma will show in a kind of a butterfly pattern over the face. So um, narrowing here and, and widening out. Um, you will very definitely have some um, darkening of the upper lip uh, with melasma and it can be um, it can be kind of from a distance look like a solid color or it can be very broken up but up close it's never solid it is broken up pigment so melasma is something that is unfortunately hard to treat but there are some things that can be done on a cosmetic um, level and also on a medical level so I will go through those with you now so the first thing to know is that melasma um, we can't always find the cause. There are some common causes. So um, the common causes are a previous um, real buildup of sun exposure or one or two bad sunburns. So these are things that you will know if you have had in the past. Um, sometimes uh, they can be triggered by an inappropriate um, deep procedure. So you, you, you would know if you had uh, something like that as well, some kind of a deep skin procedure. It can be um, genetic, it can have a hormonal influence, so um, the contraceptive pill can trigger it in some women, pregnancy can trigger it in some. Now some women when they are pregnant will get a subtype of melasma which is called cloasma which just comes when you're pregnant but that goes away again, it fades away again after the birth so that's not um, usually an issue. Now please be careful if you are pregnant and start to see some darkening or if um, this can run in families so if you've seen it happen in your family be careful um, if you do get a secondary damage while you are suffering from cloasma which is the temporary type of darkening in pregnancy if you got say a sunburn for example to the area that was um, dark then it can actually make it permanent so even though that is a, a temporary type of pigmentation be really really careful because it can can um, a, a secondary damage on it can um, make it permanent so you definitely don't want that so if if this is something that you were wondering about if that's why I clicked on this video if you are pregnant and if you have this darkening of the skin just through your pregnancy in most cases it is just going to go away again on its own so you don't have to worry but do use your SPF every day be very careful use a mineral um, based SPF and you should be absolutely fine and avoid prolonged sun exposure so if you have melasma for one of the other reasons whether it is a different type of hormonal influence or genetic or damage or whatever it is then it's a little bit more tricky it's not going to go away um, easily if at all so what we look at when um, people present to us first with melasma uh, we, we obviously go through all of that to see what the trigger is to see where it came from which gives us you know, a clearer idea of exactly what is going on, what has gone wrong with the um, melanocytes, which are the pigment cells. So the, the pigment travels from these, it's made in the, the melanocyte, it travels through little channels and it is picked up by the skin and this is your body's natural defense against UV and this is what a tan is. But if that melanocyte or a little bunch of melanocytes get damaged by any one of the triggers that we talked about before um, something goes wrong and maybe it's pumping out too much pigment or it's pumping it out all the time without UV damage or maybe the pigment is, is being created normally but the, the channels the dendrites that the pigment travels along up to the skin cells maybe they're damaged or maybe they're not flexible and maybe the skin cell is what's wrong so there are different stages of this life 
cycle of the melanosome, the little pigment um, granule, there are different stages where it can be going wrong. So knowing your um, triggers and knowing your history helps us to um, ascertain um, which of those is the most likely. So by knowing that, we know the a treatment approach to take for you. So now that you know all the technical information about why um, pigment can suddenly appear where it didn't before, the only other thing to know is that it can collect in the dermis or the epidermis. So the epidermis um, is towards the, the front, is the surface, and then the dermis is the, the deeper part of the skin underneath. So if it collects in the epidermis, we can help you. If it has collected in the dermis, we can't get to that. So we have a look at you and we determine if we can how much of it is um, surface and how much of it is likely to be deeper. So surface pigmentation um, can be helped in a salon or clinical setting with um, peels like such as um, lactic peels, mandelic peels, all of which are fairly light on the skin. You would have uh, a series of them. It's not this one big peel that peels off everything. It's like you have a little series of them to gradually get you to that stage. We like the progressive rather than aggressive approach here at Skin Essentials. So you have your peels and at home we are giving you products that have vitamin C, that have vitamin A, that have vitamin E. These are very, very important to help fade, heal and of course SPF to protect because you can go through a lot of this you can do your peels you can start to fade out the surface pigmentation you can be really good with doing your vitamin c in the morning your vitamin a at night you go out during this process or after this process you get one um, prolonged sun exposure with no protection and you can go right back to where you started so you really need to be committed to this so the the products from the skin essentials range that we would give you to use as collagen serum in the morning um, followed by SPF and then at night we would give you lipid repair concentrate followed by skin comfort cream um, those then between those products we have all of the ingredients that it is going to take to help to fade epidermal pigmentation and protect against new pigmentation so when you've gone through your process we then um, can see once the surface um, pigmentation has been taken away we can see what's left behind at a deeper level now as I explained in the beginning we can't get to a deeper level but for some people there will be a deeper medical peel that can actually help them so we go through about a six month program of doing your correct home care and the lovely side effect of this is that it's going to be really good for your skin it's going to be anti-aging and it's going to be um, healthy for your skin to do all of this as well and um, once we have faded everything we can possibly fade from the surface some people say okay that's great I'm really happy with that now because a little makeup covers what's left and that's great and we're done some people prefer then to take it further and explore options of um, getting something a little bit more deeper work done and we can help you um, point you in the right direction to um, take care of that if, if that's what you want to do. Um, so that is everything really that um, can be done on a surface level for melasma. Oh, and one other important thing to know, and this is something that a lot of people miss, um, because there was a, why doesn't it go away in the winter then if, you know, the sun is... Um, is bringing it out because it will darken it will darken in the summer for everybody and the reason it doesn't go away completely in the winter is because it doesn't have to be just heat from the sun that brings it out any direct heat source is actually going to increase your um, melasma so sitting in front of the fire sitting close to the fire or in front of any other direct heat source during the winter can actually worsen it as well so no good news there I'm afraid but the best thing about it to know is to to get on it quickly the sooner um, you start after it um, appears on your skin then the better your results are going to be that's not to say that it's hopeless if it's been there a long time and you're just starting to take care of it now but as with everything the sooner you get to it the better the results so thank you very much for watching and for listening to all of that um, I really do appreciate it if you like, subscribe, share this video. Um, getting the reach out there helps me to continue making videos and I really do hope that you find it useful and of course if you have to share it with your friends. Um, you will also find us over on Facebook at Skin Essentials by Mariga and I do live Q&A skincare chats um, Saturday mornings as often as I possibly can. 
and uh, you'll get lots of info on our website skinessentialsbymariga.com and all of that information is in the description box below. So thanks once again for watching and please do get in touch if I can help you at all.